Hi, welcome to Mad RC Built Labs. I'm James. Um, you know me on YouTube as some kind of monster West Virginia. Doing a review today on the What Next. It's on RC groups. This is what the plane basically is. It's an aerial trainer sport. It's designed by how much at RC groups and the tile plans were done by pot shot at RC groups. Um, but basically, it's 34 inch wingspan. I have a KFM airfoil. I put my servo in the middle here so my ailerons work off it. The tail, I have my servo for my elevator on the bottom. The rudder on the top. It's powered by the same motor I use in my new tube that uh, Experimental Airlines makes. Um, so I don't know exactly which motor it is. I know I put it on my new tube and that's where I got the motor for. Um, I'm swinging the same prop as the Super Cub, which is the 9.6. The, the Super Cub and this one both fly about the same, but this plane is more aerobatic, more 3D. I had it out test flying today. Um, I was excited about hurry up and building it. So as you see, I hurried up and duct taped it together. It running off of a 30 amp speed controller a hobby zone 11.1 volt 1300 milliamp lipo get about eight minutes flight time full throttle swing of the 9.6 um overall it's a pretty easy build it took me well if i do if i'd done it right it would probably took me about three hours um i would say a beginner could build this plane really good i have the spar in the in locating the wing as a plan show i have the kfm air step single i'm thinking about going with a kfm2 for the next one um i had to add two ounces of weight in the nose because it, when i first flew it outside the shop here it was, went straight pretty much up because the tail was so heavy so i added two ounces of weight to the nose that took care of that problem um, I was flying it in winds today about 8 miles an hour. Um, I'd have to say it done really well, no damage. I have a little bit of grass right here where it lands as a belly lander there. Um, but in the 8 mile an hour winds with this motor prop and set up and everything, it done real well. Uh, one thing I would do, I would go with a name brand receiver, something like Spectrum or something of that sort. I have the tactic in it right now so I can't adjust my throws um, it's very touchy it will roll quick loop quick all that I'm I, for a beginner I'd want to dial it back um, but tactic it seems like it gets pretty good range and I had this up about 300 about 300 foot I'd say where it looked like a little dot and uh, the glide slope on it was awesome but uh, I'd like to say that um, how much done a great job for Marcy Groups and Pot Shot. Hey, plans worked great. Um, I like the idea of it, but my basic review, if you're going to start scratch building, this would be a good plane. Anything from Experimental Airlines, Ed, he's awesome. Um, flight, test, flight Test, Josh and Josh Bixler, they're awesome. I have a bunch of those that I need to do reviews on. I just have to finish the motors up electronics and stuff but I'd like to say the Watt next is an awesome plane I got another one I'm working on building I'm going to put the other KM FM2 airfoil in it um, but this is just parts I had laying around and it actually worked real well um, when I first flew it I didn't have nothing on the bottom so it got kind of confusing make sure you put something to distinguish from the bottom and the top if you're new. Um, and also the Super Cub here, they're about pretty much the same size except for the, uh, I noticed that the Super Cub has about a foot, a foot bigger wingspan. Um, I think this plane would probably go good with a bigger wingspan as well. Um, prop size, it, it works great. Um, like I wish I said, I know what size this motor is, where it came from. There's no markings on it. Um, the uh, speed controller is electric fly. 
um, servos. I have three nine gram servos, just cheap Hobby King servos. Um, I like my quick connects. The Z bends on the back here. The Z bends are on all the backs of mine, and then I put the quick connects in. Um, the same. I got a carbon bar here. It's a little bit bigger than the one in the wing. Then I got four rubber bands. I was thinking I might have with that high wind. I was thinking I was going to have to have more rubber bands, but four was just the right amount. So um, I'm definitely going to build another one. So there will be another video on this one later. I'm going to probably think about putting landing gear on it so I don't beat up the nose. And um, but uh, it's an awesome plane. To watch next RC group, check them out. Like to thank them for the plans. You guys are awesome. And uh, we'll be seeing you again. This is Mad RC Built Labs. Some kind of Monster West Virginia. Signing out. Go fly.